Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5! This thing came out a few days ago. And as a Porsche lover, this thing's kind of cool. It's a 997, 911 Sport Classic. Well, like, the wing, that's like straight up old 911s. Or pretty much the styling. Those are... I would say a modern interpretation of like the wheels you would find on isn't the wheels on the 27 Carrera the 27 RS like sorta in that style I don't remember what it's called but it's like something exclusive power kit what the hell is an exclusive power kit What the hell is an exclusive power kit? Okay, it makes sense. Like, that might be, like, intakes. Ram air? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. They are not the buckets you would find in, like, a... Um... 4.0. Six-speed manual. Is this, like, brownish in there? Hmm. It's 3.8. Almost 410. I think it's like 408. Lightweight flywheel, though. Very free revving. It revs really quickly. It's like less than a second. It's like already on unlimiter but I love the styling of this I don't know why the music starts playing because I swear to god I have streamer mode on um, it's not a video that would be an audio you idiot streamer mode is on and gla at least in this game On this game, on this game, uh, that dream room has like memory. Definitely like brownish interior. Four oh eight peak, around three hundred pound feet of torque, probably. Three oh nine peak, I like four grand. Kind of difficult to shift properly. I just suck. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um. Let's just take this on a race, because it's like the best way to test a car, right? Check the track. Something on like is like really like doing donuts. This thing didn't really want to do that. Sierra Verde. Sprint. So middle A class. I really love the styling of this. It's so. Oh, it's a classic interpretation of like a 911. But it's it's not like they just do this the the singer thing and put like a older body on a newer chassis. They like actually. The classic name is perfect for this. And if this was in real life, this thing would have incredible steering. 
because 997 have like the best steering feel ever. Apparently. Sorry, I I hate you, but who likes the I eight? No one. Actually, probably a lot of people, but I always hated it. Not because it's hybrid, because it just I don't like the look of the car. And it's like a horrible sounding three cylinder. And three cylinders can sound pretty awesome. Ask Koenigsegg, ask uh, MT09 Yamaha owners, and like. Triumph. What's that? Like the. 375? I don't even know. Like some Triumph. Sport bikes and stuff like the three cylinder. Like they sound pretty cool. This thing has that 911 turn and oversteer. Sort of. Sometimes. Like, you just... The rear end gets so light... That it just... Comes around. Or just... Can be fun. There's probably a reason why they're... The newer GT3s and stuff don't handle like that. Probably because it's hard to handle and... Kills your lap times. The 3A, like, never was my favorite engine. I always liked the 4s. The 4 liters, because they're just... They usually grab higher and scream and all that, which is what I love. They're not bad, like, they can sound really good. But I just love RPM. 3A is still good, though. I actually really like the wheels. And I didn't really think I would. Because I usually don't even like the those wheels on old, on older 911s. But, kind of suits the car. Looks right. And I love the friggin' wing. Or trunk. So even, you have to do like the launch control thing. I think out of the brake or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's not like if you get on the if you're still on the brakes going into the corner. And that's the 911 thing where just the rear inside rear wheel look kind of almost lifts and it the rear end rotates. This thing like this thing handles nicely. This thing handles really nicely. I don't... Let, let's check the weight. Because I'm, I'm... I have a feeling it's like sort of light. 3,200 pounds. That's not bad. You can't really compare it to friggin' Errol Adam, but... <laughs> 3,200 pounds... Compared to... 
None of these are stock. It's like the same weight as an STI. Almost. No, 200 pounds lighter than that. 100. Um, Porsche. Uh, stock Taycan's 5,000. Um, that's not stock. Uh, stock Macan is 4,200. So 1,000 pounds lighter than Macan. Which makes sense. Um, that's not... None. That should be stock. So, it's a bit heavier than a 2016 RS. Um, slowly heavier than a 996 GT3. I don't have a single 997, actually. Um, but, yeah. So it's like decent way. I'm guessing we can probably take five, five hundred, eight hundred, somewhere around around there out of it. Then it's gonna be a really, really nice way. I'm guessing, yeah. Just fortress splitter. I wish we didn't have to use the tow hook. I love that lap. That lip is sick. It's, uh, I think some of the older 911s have them as well, but oh, it just, it's very subtle, but it's sort of racing. The, even like the new Blackwing Cadillacs have like a tiny lip and like they produce so much downforce that they can shave, instead of having the wing like an inch or two more. A bit different intake. I don't know why my, why my PC like sort of loads them in sort of slowly. So you can, at the, right at the beginning you can only hear the intake. There's like the exhaust. I love how hard it hits limiter. Very subtle. Kinda like it. Mmm, that would be five, six, seven, eight, ninety five hundred RPM. Really? 9,500 from this? Damn. Let's put, let's make it a race car build first. Mm, 30, no, it's a bit lighter, I think. Oh, well, I don't know, but only 500 pounds. Eh, <sighs> wow, okay. Then add 40 more because it just uh, stiffens the chassis up. Um, 255s up front. It has 305s. That's really wide. Okay, okay. That's, it could have been a bit, bit more aggressive, but... I was like... Five degrees of camber, much. Uh, I want to try to match the rear. I think that would be like that. But screw it, let's go one more. Um, it comes with sports. Um, I really want to. I don't want to put. I don't like putting slicks on things, unless they make a thousand horsepower, but. <sighs> It already has carbon ceramic brakes. Please stop. I was like, ah, oh, supercharger, please. Nope. The Cayman. On the Cayman, you can put a supercharger. That's the GT2 RS engine. On the Cayman GT4, you can put a supercharger on it, and it, like, turns it into a screaming monster. It sounds so good. That's also 
3A. So that's a non and one career ascend. Six sixty nine. Nice. Is that I actually the peak power on this? Camshafts we've done. Exhaust we've done. Um, I think six sixty nine is the peak. I can't really do anything else. Other than bolt on. I don't really like. Because I hate the Toic. The Toic is what ruins it to me. But I think in just. The front end on a 911 is usually what needs downforce. Because out of corners, it just has to wait on the rear. Ideally, I wouldn't, but I'm afraid just going through corners, at least on throttle, it's just going to be sort of lifty and understeery. I didn't do any drivetrain. That's like one of the things I forget sometimes. Uh, well, a lot of times I feel. Um, let's put the race diff in. We, it feels like in this game, when you do upgrade to a race transmission, you do get, like, actual, or like, straight cut gear wine thing-ish. So, like, interior view just gets a lot louder. And you can just, and it's like, a, it's not engine noise, it's just, it feels like it, to me, it's just gear noise, which is fine, I guess, for some people, but I would kind of prefer it not to be there. Like in in motorsport, it was like that for a while, and I'm, I'm just for that reason, a lot of the time I only put sport transmission in it, because I just enjoy driving cockpit view and just having the constant noise of a racing gearbox. It's 8500 RPM. Which is kind of where I thought it would be. That was a horrible launch, I know. I like I, I couldn't launch it. Not even three ran. Bit too low. 2500, it basically stalled. Well, just do some burnout. To road our car, it just never will really. I'm like on the fence if I enjoy the car or not this way. I don't really know. I just. The front end didn't feel very. like it wanted to turn. It felt kind of understeering. I know, like. 
some nine some nine elevens. That's like the, one of the things because they don't have weight on the front end and all that. Reducing the road downforce might like help with that balance because it's very rear biased. But there's probably some things I could do with the tuning and all that. Plus, it has really wide fronts. I think that's carbon ceramic brakes. God, I love that booty. That booty's so good. That booty's so fine. I really don't like the canards. I don't expect us to be really that great in top speed because we did just max out the downforce. It's like trying to find a clean line. It's not always, not always easy. Sorry about that. Could maybe tune the brakes a bit different, but... It has the 911 grip out of corners. Well, it is only like 669 nice horsepowers. First purse. I wonder how this will be with a turbo or two turbos to be precise. You hear that? It has like a gear wine noise. And I think that's just because it has, we have a racing transmission on this. I think if we did the sport, which wouldn't allow us to tune the gears, but the gears are like fine. Could have been like maybe a bit more closely together, but since we have so much downforce, <laughs> Jump. That's a good car. It's a really fun car. Handling is pretty good. Yeah, this thing's pretty nice. I think I actually won that race. Um, what can we do? I never plan these out, by the way. I just do whatever I feel like. I wouldn't... Nah, like city race, I wouldn't say so. This sprint, screw it, let's do it. Probably the last thing we do in this video anyway, I'm guessing. But this Sport Classic, it's a good car. It's fun. I do kinda wanna build like a all-wheel drive 
with version with the turbo, sorry, the GT2 RS engine. Make it probably a really freaking huge beast with like 1000 horsepower, 11, 1200 maybe. I've never built a <laughs> the GT2 engine in this game, so I have no idea how much it makes. It makes 700 stock, but other than that, I don't know. We didn't do tires because well, wheels because I think these just they're perfect. Oh my god. Kind of got side wipes there. <laughs> it does have like the, that 911 on, on gas front end lightness because there's just no weight on the front tires. So you really gotta like use the brakes and the uh, throttle to your advantage when you want to turn and not just stay flat at least not sometimes that was a big ass cut The second you go for that throttle, your front tires will go light, and they will start to slide. I feel like I'm at Le Mans, just like in one gear for like two minutes. Well, these days it's like 30 seconds, but... I definitely could give this thing shorter gears. This is really good in like the twisties too, yeah. not just the high speed st stuff. I feel like it's better in, in like the tighter twisties than the long high speed corners. Oh, that flat six noise. <laughs> Just gotta have a bit, have a bit of fun, right? <laughs> uh, like DK. When you dominate so hard that you start sliding just to give the fans a show, right? <laughs> Yeah, that was my plan. Just give you guys a bit of show. <laughs> and the spectators, of course, too. This thing's pretty good. This thing's really good. Definitely worth getting or trying out if you have the car pack pass. I think I think this is a car pass car. Even though it's like the third time Ford's players pay for it, it's only like my first. So I don't care. But anyway, thanks for watching.
like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to November I upload, and I will see you guys next time with some more Forza probably. Bye.